The Friday session was a battle between the bulls and the bears, and in the end, the bears won. But it started off very much in the green, with Wall Street happy that the Congress and the administration and the central bank are all doing enough to keep the financial situation liquid. Companies like Nike and McDonald's and Amazon all did well in the early part of the day. They're called consumer discretionaries. But the mood soured at the White House news conference after President Trump got into a nasty argument with a television journalist, and Andrew Cuomo, the governor of the state of New York, said that everybody in New York is now under a stay-at-home order and that New York is on pause. You can imagine what that did to market confidence. At the end of the day, the Dow was down 4.5%, the Nasdaq off by 3.7%, S&P 500 down by 4.3%, the Dow standing at 19,173, roughly where it was when President Trump came into office, a decline of 930 points on Friday. The Dow is down 17% just in this week and this has been the worst week since 2008 and is on course to be the worst month since 1987. Some stocks were in the green though. Carnival, Cruises up 6%. Wynn Casinos up 11%, American Airlines up almost 1%, Avis Car Hire up 13%. Next week there's a lot more data coming out of China and the US. Some of it will focus on what the consumer is thinking. That will be important, but we're also expecting millions of people to sign on for first-time unemployment benefit, and that'll be tough to take. The battle between the bulls and the bears is likely to be on again. And what a week this last week has been. The 3,000 point drop on Monday. Last Wednesday, President Trump's success, as far as the Dow is concerned, completely wiped out. All the points gains gone and two more stop downs for New York trading. As for this market, the trading floor now closes. And for the first time next week, the New York Stock Exchange will trade only electronically, just like the NASDAQ. The future of this trading floor right now is in doubt. John Terrett, CGTN, on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange.